welcome everybody to Tangling and Transforming Your Zen Tangle Tile Tome. My name is Rick. And I'm Molly. And we want to share something that Jean on our Zen Tangle team put together and what you can do with the Tile Tome. Mm -hmm. So I um, had the task of tangling the outside of the Tile Tome while Jean was working on the inside of the Tile Tome. So the pictures that you're looking at right now was... Um, a gradual of me tangling the um, the craft paper surface of these beautiful portfolios, and I used a black micron and a um, the two gray tone microns with this, and obviously the white jelly roll, which is just so awesome on this paper. Actually, this is the white charcoal pencil. I mean, the white charcoal pencil, yes, right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, lots of white chalk. There is a little bit of jelly roll on there, so you're not wrong. I did use both, but a lot of the white chalk yeah. you're seeing with the graphite pencil. And this is something we wanted to share with you, um, is a way to protect any surfaces. I love Mod Podge. It's like a <laughs> very user-friendly um, coating. It's basically a glue surface, but really easy to use. And it's, wa it's water-soluble, right? Yes, it is. So um, we have these sponge brushes we use because they're easy and you can throw them away afterwards. So it's a great way to kind of have an inexpensive brush you if you don't want to get it ruined. I mean, you can wash out the, the stuff, but I prefer to do it this way. And it seems to like, especially if you really use the tortillon to get the graphite and chalk into the surface of the papers, then um, you really don't have a problem with using the Mod Podge over mm. it as a sealer. And I love the glossy one because it, it just makes it kind of fancy. And I also love painting just specific parts of the surface. It almost looks like an applique or something like mm. that. It's very cool. So she's working around the little metal metal rivets there. And I love how it saturates the, the color of it. It like makes the whites whiter and the browns browner. And the, it, it's a contrast contrastier. And right. And it does dry fairly fast. It goes on with a little bit of a, a white, um, but that eventually dries clear um, in a few minutes. And one thing I would say is you don't want to really overwork your surface. You want to get it on there, do a little couple strokes to get any excess glue off, and then move on to the next part. Yeah, and you can see how the first part's already almost looking dry. Right, yeah. Such a fun project and um, really transforms the surface of yeah. the portfolio for it. sure. And it protects it like it seals in the graphite yeah. and the charcoal too. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. And by doing a string with only half of it, you kind of get this impressive look without having mm. the overwhelming feeling of having to tangle the whole thing. There's the back of it. And the spine was fun to do. And I kind of did this fun process where I, I really shaded some parts. And then, as you can see, like the poker, I didn't mm. shade at all. And I thought that was like a really a nice fun. Nice contrast. Yeah, yeah, just a fun approach just to kind of shake it up a little bit. I love that. And this was the project we decided to do. We have all these tiles from our project packs. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was Jen and Jean that said, why don't we put um, them in the tile tomes and then people could have like a beautiful portfolio of all the project packs they've done. So Jean um, took this project on and she's so creative. And um, I just love how she put these in here. She used the... Um, the photo corners mm -hmm. and a cute little set of um, letter stamps and she put the titles and the theme of each one and um, we had most of the project packs are in here there's a couple that are like three-dimensional or bigger that we didn't put in but as I was editing this it was so nice because we put these all in boxes and then it's like we don't see them but forget about them <laughs> and then to see them laid out like this Look and how, how she did this cleverly Rick. so right? fun love that and it all fits in there it, so it's I'm, just so nice to look through it, and it's yeah. a really great showpiece when people come by. And especially if you're working on the project packs out of order, because it's a three-ring binder, you could do oh, right. you know, project pack five and then add in different ones, or maybe you have other projects you've done outside of the project packs. Um, you can put in the titles and any notes you have. Love how she did the spinner. Right. So fun. And a little secret there, Molly just told me that she replaced the plastic spinner with a paper one because <laughs> it was just too much of a, you know, it was too proud. It was like bumping up right. there. Right. 
I know. This is like a little walk through memory lane to see these old this projects. This is Molly, packs. what, how many years ago? Oh, like that was last year, Rick. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't you know? Um, another note with our tile tomes, we, we put a lot of pages inside the tile tome, but I think they really um, thrive um, with less pages. We kind of thought like you might want extra ones in case like you have mishaps or change, want certain colors. Um, so I think that the pages move around structurally better with less. So if you don't want to glue your bo book in. I love how she did this. Right? Yeah, let's just slice the sheet a little bit. You can see through. Which was why the uh, little X-Acto knife at the opening right? shot there. Brilliant. Oh, so cool. And uh, she alternated like black and then the tan so that like each yeah. project pack displayed differently. I have loved this series. That was a fun one. You yeah. know when we did a blog about who, what was people's favorite project packs? That one came up really? a lot. I know. It was a 12-day series when we released the gray tiles. Never know. Beautiful. I loved this project pack yeah. series this, um, with the funky jelly rolls and all the bright colors. That was really fun. And if they all don't fit in one, well, you <laughs> yes, can and always if they like... didn't. So we actually had to do this in two tile tomes because um, we have a lot of project packs. And like we said, overfilling the pages, it doesn't like you, um, it kind of stuffs the three rings. So to have nice flow with the rings, um, we decided to use two of them. We've done a lot of work. We this have. Is amazing, I know. Right? It's so fun to go back through it. Um, Legend is another favorite. I mean, right. I, I, I could say I'd be like, I love that one. Right, I right. love that one. So much really beautiful work. So fun. And that's, so, again, that cool. And, and I, I love the, uh, the two colors of holding paper in there because then you can really do the contrast or mm -hmm. matching or... And because she used the photo corners, you can technically take these out if you right. wanted to pull one out for something or um, whatever it is. You really want to sweet. Do. And you'll notice the photo corners actually work on non corners. Yeah, right? in the circles. They hold, yeah. Hold the... There's a little lip in it, so that works out yeah. well. This was fun with the Renaissance. Beautiful. And I love this one too, this mm -hmm. uh, the gray tone on that. That was a fun one. It was a yeah. little unexpected. Like, look at the this resist. Spread. Yeah, so fun. So even if it's not project packs or if it is project packs, this is just a wonderful little way to go through all of the things you've done and mm -hmm. almost relive it and be re-inspired. Because and, and, yeah. just looking at this has been like, oh, this was great. And we're working on a new project pack, which uh, is always exciting and to share with you. And, oh my goodness, I'm so and then excited. To see what people do I with know. it, you know? This was a great one, too. I love yeah. how she um, displayed this. That's right? cool. And we love seeing what you do, you know, share it on the app. And, uh, and, uh, and it not only inspires, well, it inspires everybody because right. we inspire you, you inspire us, and it's this wonderful, positive echo chamber. And we didn't hear, but you could have, you could easily tangle around these pieces on the pages oh, absolutely. of the, of the um, yeah. portfolio for sure. Absolutely. And little notes in there mm -hmm. and where you were. And for sure. Little memories. Translucency. We're getting closer to the present. Yeah. But some of those old project packs, it started off so simply, just a yeah. basic idea, and um, they've evolved, really. And yeah. um, each one kind of like these little mini explorations, and I've learned so much from all of them, just watching others do projects. Well, you particularly, because you're like, okay, what are we going to do next, I know, right? right? Yeah, so. Yeah, um, really fun, and different types of tangles, and this, this whole blossoming series. And I, I never worry about like coming up with a new idea or how we're going to process it. It always some seems to come together. Yeah, one stroke at a time. I love it. Thanks for joining me, Rick. And special thanks to Jeannie for all your work on this. I really appreciate it. Okay, well, have fun and enjoy your summer or whenever you're watching this video. All right, take care. Bye now.